So I'm picking up my Max Painterly Paint Pot and applying this to my lid, and well basically all over my lid, moving it up to my um, brow bone. This step is basically priming your eyelid and this will help your eyeshadow set and it will help it blend as evenly as possible. This will stop it from basically moving around all day uh, and stop it from creasing or becoming very oily or disappearing for that fact because um, a lot of people have been asking me how I set my eyes and I have, as per my blog post, seen uh, a lot of people ask this question on this group that I joined on Facebook. So um, hopefully you know you guys can see how I go about setting my eyes and uh, not allowing my eyeshadow to budge throughout the day. You want to make sure that you've got an even amount distributed over your eyelids and your brow bone. Just like how I was just checking there. I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade One Light. And with a Water Eats blending or Water Eats brush, I am applying this onto my eyelids and moving it up to my brow bone. This will basically prevent, like I said before, your eyeshadow from becoming very oily throughout the day and stopping from budging. This will set the eye primer. So I'm picking up my Maybelline Nude Palette here and I'm picking up this light brown shade that I just pointed at and applying that to my crease. So I have quite small eyes um, and the, my eyelids are quite hooded. So this will allow my eyes to be slightly more fine and make it look bigger. So if you've got an eye shape that's quite similar to mine, this would be quite perfect for you as well. Not that I'm saying my eyes are tiny or anything like that, but I like my eyes to look slightly more defined. And this can act as your transitional shade as well, especially if you're applying like a darker shade on your eyelid or a lighter. It should work for you. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've actually had my eyelashes done. I've had individual lashes done. So I'm taking up the darker brown shade now and applying that just on top of the colour that we just applied and blending that out. So like I was saying, I have had my eyelashes done. I've had individual lashes put on by a girl called Alexandra Lashes. Um, she's based in Basingstoke, Hampshire. I was visiting my mum quite recently and um, saw my sister had it done and it looked amazing so I thought I'd give it a try considering I've never done this before at all but um, she charges £25 um, for set of course and I mean though she started last month I think she's doing fantastically um, my lashes look lovely and long and now she's fluttery and natural most of all that's what I wanted um, and she went and did exactly that She's already getting really fully booked, and I actually think she's going to blow up um, pretty big, especially on social media, because she's got a really good talent at this. So, you guys, I'm going to leave a link of her page, her Instagram page, um, in the description box. Go and check it out, and go and book and get your eyelashes done. This is amazing. And tell her that I sent you. So, my camera, my lovely camera, cut up a bit where I put um, another shadow on my... Um, my lid I picked up a lovely white gold shadow from the same palette and applied it to my lid and it cut out the part where I was putting on my eyeliner as well just to define my eyes a bit more but here I'm using the Maybelline brow precise uh, brow pencil it's a double-ended brush so well it's a double-ended um, pencil it has a, the uh, pencil on it and the other end has a spoolie so you'll never be without one um, I'm just doing a very light hand, sort of like a brush stroke, to make to mimic my hair basically, and make the stroke as natural as possible. I got this uh, brow pencil the other day, and it works amazingly. I've heard of a lot of people actually use this before, and um, I thought I'd give it a try out as well, see how it goes. So you guys have probably noticed that I'm wearing a lot of Maybelline in this eye look. Um, this isn't sponsored or anything like that. I don't usually use Maybelline quite a lot. I use their eyeliner, and that's probably about it. But there are other products that they have, and I have seen some really good reviews on them, and I thought I'd try it out as well. 
I'm also wearing a new foundation in this tutorial where the Essie Lauder um, Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Foundation in the shade Wheat, I believe. Um, this foundation is amazing. Um, it is super light wear compared to the old Double Wear. Um, it makes your foundation, what makes your skin look more like skin, if anything. So I'm taking the Maybelline Brow Gel here and transparent and applying that to my eyebrow to set them in place. So this will stop your um, brows from moving, basically. And it'll help set your brows, your hairs in place. So this is the finished look you guys, um, I hope you guys got to see how easy it is to prime and set your eyes and how it makes it so much easier for you to blend out your eyeshadow as evenly as possible um, and it's super easy, I mean this just takes a couple of minutes, not even that, just to do it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed this how to series and there's more yet to come and thank you guys so much for watching.